we are changing everything today about that bed. It's all coming apart. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that work we put in there. Yeah. And all the work that Steve put in as well over three long weekends, Steve. Don't kill me. Next time I see you, don't punch me, don't kill me. But I've thought of a potentially better solution to this bed. So basically, what's gonna happen? Let's go, let's run you through it. Bed frame, nice and solid, good construction. Thank you, Steve. The sliding slats, very good as well. We managed to get the mechanism working just right with some bry wax. But there's a problem. The problem is that as the camper has started to be built around this bed frame, the unit's now in, we've got cool boxes to worry about where they're gonna go, etc. The amount of room that's now left in this camper and in this shell of a van has become increasingly less and less and less, which has meant that this sliding mechanism has become increasingly more difficult to slide in and slide out all the time. So I've thought of something, I haven't told you yet. <laughs> Do you remember when we built the car out? Yeah, yep, and yep. we did that slide, uh, not sliding, sorry, that folding system that came out. Yeah, three inches in the middle, so it folded over, you have yeah. the legs on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we're going to do today. Okay. We're taking all the slats off, we're taking the sliding mechanism off, and we're going to go B&Q again. Right. <laughs> it's going to be, yeah. <laughs> Folks, do you think I've got enough patience <laughs> to go through this again? <laughs> So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to get done today. I'm gonna to do some measurements before we head to B&Q. Uh, nice to go back to B&Q actually with you. It's uh, Oh, look, B&Q is my favorite place. <laughs> so, back to the drawing board with the bed. Hopefully we can get it right this time. I've got a funny feeling this camper will never be finished. The removable legs. Three of them on the folding part will do the trick. Let's get the wood. Uh, right then, we got the wood, we got the van, we think we got the tools. Uh, anything we're lacking we got, is the skill. We've got the scat stuff. Staff. <laughs> okay, so um, we had a quick rough look at B&Q car park on whether we've actually cut the right sizes of wood. We think we have. Um, it looks kind of roughly the way it should be. So now we've got to cut out that corner piece from this big piece of wood. And then that'll be the first part of then drilling it into that one. Mm. And then the folding one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's just do it then, shall we? Mm. I just want to mention one thing in this video as well. It's a pleasure to be doing work on the van without what? rain. Oh, I thought you said with me. Well, and you, and you. Right, that is the first piece of wood on. All of the screws have been countersunk, pilot holes have been drilled, and that isn't going anywhere. That is now secure. So that's gonna form the first part of the bed. Now that piece of wood that my dad's holding right there, can you just model it for us? Oh, wood. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that piece of wood that my dad's holding right there is gonna be hinged on here. So. We've actually left half of that piece of wood along there. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> um, for that to sit on nice and flush. So we've brought uh, three heavy duty hinges. Where are them? They're there, are they? Yes. Okay. Do you want to model them as well for us? Oh, dear. <laughs> Hinge and bracket, that's what we are. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've got three heavy duty hinges, um, just some brass plated ones. Quite cheap, I think, what, four quid? Four or five pounds, something like that. Uh, three quite big ones. One, two, three. That piece of wood, when it's not in bed mode, will obviously be on top of this piece of wood. When it is in bed mode, it will fold over. Now you're probably thinking at this point, well, Brendan, 
What are you going to do about legs? What are you going to do about supporting that piece of wood once it's folded over? Well, luckily, and this is the find of the century, I am assured of it, this detachable table leg comes with a very low profile metal bracket that you put on the piece of wood. When that's on there and you're ready for bed mode, obviously that'll be in place. Screw them in. And that, if you want to adjust it, spins up top to adjust it. This is unique to my build because this is the perfect length to be able to extend it ever so slightly to make it perfectly level. Whether that works in your van, I don't know, but B&Q had these for, I think it was 11 quid each. I've brought three of them. So there'll be one, two, three, when it's in bed mode. When it's not in bed mode, spin the leg off, put it underneath the bed. That's your phone, isn't it? Ooh. Cut again. <laughs> but anyway, then when it's not in bed mode, that'll be the only thing that sits above on that piece of wood oh. that'll go over where the foam's over it to give you a bit more of a cushion on your bum. Over too far. Over we go. Fitch there, fitch there. Lovely, look at that. Absolutely lovely. And over we... Oh, look how, look how tight that is there. <laughs> See that one? Whoa! That, I tell you what, that is millimetres. Ooh! Ooh! It goes over though. That's measured well. That's good. And it goes perfectly into that gap there as well. That's good. And when it's obviously not in uh, bed mode, twist the legs off, pop them underneath. That's it. And I've got a sofa again. That's, That's the way to do it. Let's get some holes drilled in this bed and get some carpet on it. So the reason why we're drilling holes in the bed is so moisture doesn't build up underneath the mattress. I did the same with the car build and it worked a treat for ventilation. You got some supplies, have you? Two Magnums and some Dr Pepper. Oh yes, thank you, job okay. well done. I don't know if it's just me. Have Magnums got significantly smaller over the years? Yep. Oh, nice one. That is, that is good. After we finished what they should call mini ice creams, we started getting the carpet out to fit on the bed. <clears throat> and in the blink of an eye, a few days goes by, and this is the finished bed. When we go out on a camp, pull it over. I won't put it all the way over because the fridge is at the end there. And I have a double carpeted bed. Now in the last couple of days, I've done a bit of research online in regards to the leak on the front of the van. Now I know I was a bit concerned about that in a previous video. Was it the last video? Maybe. Um, but yeah, still got the gaffer tape up there at the moment. So what I've gone and done is I've had a look online on eBay and seen if I could purchase a weather strip for these particular vehicles. I think I've been shortchanged a little bit by whatever company's given me them. So this is the strip that they've sent me. Apparently this is a genuine Vauxhall Renault part, apparently. But it's too long, so I find that a little bit hard to believe. But we're going to trim it down, we're going to take the gaffer tape off now, just give you guys a bit of an update on this leak. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get it fixed today. I've also brought some... CT1 black unique sealant and construction adhesive. I've seen loads of people online raving about that and apparently it can be used within moisture, it can even be used underwater. We started off using some carb cleaner to clear away any residue that's been left behind from the old sealant and gaffer tape, ready to receive the new sealant. That's it, that's it, that's it, the right speed. I actually did film a full explanation of what we did to seal the windscreen, but while looking through the edit, I realized my dad pressed the time lapse instead of record. So basically, we cut the weather seal to length and cleaned out as much of the old perished sealant as we could. We then ran a bead of CT1 sealant along the width of where the windscreen meets the van. We then fed the weather strip into the recess and jobs are good'un. Well, time will tell if it's a good'un, but it will do for now at least. Thanks for watching again guys, and another big thank you for all of your suggestions on the previous video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.